Hi guys, just a quick video to explain how to get the most out of the resources whilst you are studying at home. Uh, we offer you quite a few resources for higher maths. So here we are Here we are on the Madras Maths website, which you'll have been on before. So I'm going to click on staff and scroll down to my page, Mr. Young. So here we have the majority of the higher course. So you guys should have completed the Higher Maths Essential Skills booklet already, just to make sure you're up to speed on everything you need to know before starting the course. So we're going to look at recurrence relations first. So let's click on the notes for recurrence relations. So there are four topics in the recurrence relations chapter or section of the course. And this relates to the textbook. So you guys will have a textbook or have access to a textbook. And for each of these topics within the recurrence relations section, I have made a talk through video on my YouTube channel. So Mr. Young's Maths, youtube.com slash Mr. Young's Maths. And if we click on playlists, we want the SQA Higher Maths Recurrence Relationships playlist. Uh, I've done this before in a previous school. It's the old one. It was related to a different textbook. So it, it's essentially the same content. So if I go over something and you want another example to go with it, if you just go and have a look in, in this playlist here for a further example, you would find one. Uh, same with the straight line there. But this, this playlist relates to the Lecky and Lecky textbook that we will be using to do the higher course. So we'd just open up the playlist and pause that one before I start speaking and I'll just go through the video each time so do have a chat through so these notes you will get when you go back to school or if you've got a printer at home and you want them now and you want to fill them in as you go along it'll be fine to print them out and and fill them in as you go there so this is 15a so I'm just talking through what we need to know for 15a so after that we would I uh, have a go at the questions in the textbook. Now, if we were struggling with that, with the questions in the textbook, we could click on this link here, which would take us to the written solutions for all of the questions that I've suggested doing. Okay, so I've sat and gone through every one of these questions for the or the questions that I've asked you guys to do. So let's just have a quick look at the notes again. So on exercise 15A, it's a very sort of basic, straightforward exercise. I would only want you to do exercise uh, question 1A and 1F. On 15B, obviously there's more questions there, 15C, 15D. So I have written out solutions to help you guys when you're doing your homework at home. So you're yeah, hopefully reducing the stress levels for you. So you can just check your working. So so quite often in maths, as you guys will have come across at National 5 many a time, you're doing a question, you can't get the answer out, and you're just thinking, I cannot do this, I cannot do this topic, I can't do quadratics or trig equations or whatever. And then the teacher comes along and just points out that instead of written, writing a plus sign, somewhere you've written a minus sign, or quite often it is just a trivial little thing. So my solutions are there to help in that case. Uh, if you think you've got everything right, you can click on the textbook answers, of course, and just go through. But if you have made a mistake, that's why my solutions are there, and they're there to help you. And my classes over the last two or three years have found them really, really useful. So please get used to using them. Uh, if there's a question you're looking at and you're thinking, I have absolutely no idea what was going on there, that's when you've got to get in touch and ask for help, guys, okay? But if it's a simple case of you've not written down the question correctly, you've written 23 instead of 25, or you've got a plus where it says minus, then obviously you can correct that yourself. And you can just get on with doing that and carry on with the exercise, which will be fine. Okay, and, and that is everything.